Spread your feet, ma'am. Face that wall, ma'am. Hold still. No, no. Spread you your mean? feet. Relax, relax. Okay, listen to me, listen to me. Turn and face this way. Turn and face this way. Don't get all crazy, oh, don't get all crazy, okay? Relax, why are you? <laughs> what is going on with you? Nothing. Doesn't like getting hair in the face. Ma'am, we good? Let's try this again. We ain't good. We're not good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's a good idea. No, no. She's Help that bitch. Please. No, we're not. I'm called a bitch a lot tonight. Mm -hmm. Stop, stop. Need? All right, come on. Let's go see medical. My arm hurts, slut. Well, if you just hold still. I know. Stand right here. Don't sit down. Uh, hold still. Did you use any kind of drugs tonight? Nope. No Not drugs? for two days. No. What did you used to use? What I used to use? Two days ago. What are you talking about? You said you did drugs two days ago. I never did drugs my whole life. You haven't done anything for two days, you said. Not for night two. Stop, stop, stop. We're done here. Let's go. Who just beat up? We'll get a comfortable chair for you, ma'am. You need to relax. Right here, ma'am. Okay. What was my charge? It looks like she was under influence of either alcohol or drugs or something. Yeah. Have some time to sit down and think about what you did. You can't do that, sir. That Stand up. So We're going to talk for a second, OK? Right. You can't be, be quiet. I have a huge problem with you in here, okay? You are too loud from my room. Do you hear anybody else screaming except for that lady that just came in? Because you two are fitting off of each other. So, when, where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? That's not working. What was she doing? She had a problem. She's, problem she's screaming at everybody, yelling at everybody, and then she just tried to fight us. Why are you screaming? Get off my chair, man. Right, go and escort by the elbows. Relax, relax. Stop tensing up. No! Do not tense up. You relax your hand. Do, relax your hand. What relax do you do? Relax your hand. Stop it. Who's going to make me? We are. I don't give a crap anymore, ma'am. I don't either. It's too bad. Whatever. I've got, I've got people in high places. Put your hand up on the wall. Hi. Very good. Maybe we'll give her an opportunity to cool down and we'll have a doctor come take a look at her. Lisa? Yeah? Can we take you out of the chair, you gonna behave? Yes. Listen to the officers? Yeah. Okay. What's my charge? It's trespassing. What do you mean trespassing? What's the charge? That's what the cops said when they brought you in. What they say, but would you see the paperwork? It says trespassing. What? Did I, I sign something that I said I trusted? Why are you yelling? Don't We're sorry. right here. I'm not yelling. That's a lie, though. Okay. No, we're going to move her upstairs, did you okay. say? Because I don't believe she's going to cooperate if we did. I don't right. think so, either. OK, come on. We're going to get you upstairs now. She's so unpredictable and erratic in her behavior that she'd be better off in 2C, which is isolation. So we're going to come in here, uh, take her out of her chair, give her some clothes, and then uh, she'll be seen with a psych doctor tomorrow. was placed in a side cell due to her behavior out in pre-arrest. It's been a couple of hours. I'm hoping that she's been able to sober up just a little bit in order to talk to me, but we'll see how it goes. Peggy, why don't you tell me what happened? I, 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 I had an issue with that Alex guy. Who's Alex? The one that called the cops. He's from Cuba. They're all speaking Spanish, and I have an issue about people that live in our country that do not speak English. OK, so what happened tonight? You drank two bottles of wine earlier, is no, what you I told didn't. them. Nope. So you haven't drank at all tonight? Yeah. How much? What? I had two glasses of wine with my girlfriend. Oh, okay. And things my got hormonal. They poured my wine out. They had they had a or the bottle. Two bottles. That's what I'm saying. One is full. Oh, okay. The other one is half full. We That's we not drank. a lot. And then the cop that was there, he took it. And he dumped it. It was good he did that. It got, you, sure? it got you in trouble tonight. You don't handle alcohol very well. You don't handle life very well, do you, bitch? Are you yelling at me? Yes. Well, then I can't talk to you if you yell at then me. Then don't talk to me anymore. Keep me here forever. Ever, ever, ever. Ah, ah, ah. You happy now? No, not so much. I don't care. Keep me here. Oh, oh.
All right, thanks for the good talk. Good talk. Oh, it's just amazing how what people can be when they're under the influence of alcohol. And I bet you tomorrow I'll go talk to her, she'll be totally different, and she'll actually carry a normal conversation with me. But for right now, she's very up, she's very down. She's nice, she's mean. She's happy, she's mad. So and until she can calm down, it's just pointless. Working at night in Las Vegas, you never know what's gonna come through the door. We have to be able to size somebody up. We can tell within 10 seconds if a person's gonna make it, if they're gonna comply with their booking process, or if we're gonna have to take it a step first, further and perhaps isolate them from the general population. Stand still. Go check your pockets. I'm all dead. I call them and tell them come get me, dude, and they'll tell you guys go f yourself and that's not very that's not very nice language. No, it isn't very nice. Could, 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 could you please refrain from using the F word? Yeah, I'll try. You'll be able to fill out a comment card when you get released. Yeah, no. Okay. What happened with him out in the field? He was uh, in front of one of the local restaurants on the strip mm -hmm. being drunk and disorderly. Uh, a couple of our partners responded and I uh, started talking to him. He got belligerent and kicked my partner uh, in the groin. Uh, Is he okay? In. He's okay, yeah. Okay. Definitely He's okay. okay. He was taken into custody and put in the back of the PT van and uh, transported here. All right, thanks, guys. He's a little bit of a clown still. We're going to see how he does. Come on, stop. Okay, Kevin, that's enough for Spanish one-on-one, -on -one. okay? Thank oh, you. Well, I'm speaking Spanish. I know, I know. Spanish. They're not really in the talkative mood, so. Freedom of speech? No. Now you're speaking. Free, oh. I can't have freedom listen, of speech. Listen, listen. No, no, Kevin, no, no freedom of speech. No, you know, come he doesn't want to talk to you. Come on, stop, saw me. Look at, look, she's thinking I'm okay, disrespecting. Kevin. Them. We're going to court, dude. We're going to court. Kevin, you see that chair? Hey, You're going hey. in the chair if you don't stop. I don't care, dude. I've been in a chair I know time. you have. I know Come you stop. have. And live a life no. free. Can't you be quiet? Free. No, it's Side cell? Sorry. OK. All right, Kevin, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to cobra up on you want us. Me to, on, you want me to stay out here oh, or go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. OK. Bye, Kevin. Right. Very drunk, doesn't really have control of his actions, so we're just going to put him in the chair for right now, let him calm down, we'll take him out a little bit later. I'm horrified. Calm down, Daniel. No, you guys just like, and I understand you guys get people All like I did is ask you to too. turn straight around. No, look what straight ahead. You do? I, mean, I want you to stay facing straight you ahead. What, do you, what we need you to do is, is look at the wall. This is just, just. You any drugs on you? I didn't have drugs on me. What's no, that baggie used to for? Be in here. I don't know. You don't know? Somebody just stuck that in your pants pocket? Looks like okay, there used to be right. something. In oh, there, you have a jaywalking warrant? Okay. Can you just stand still for like a half a I'm second? trying to. I'm petrified. You keep moving around and wiggling like you're trying to hide something that you no, shouldn't I'm have. No, I'm not. You're mean. These handcuffs come off your hands, go on the back of your head. You understand? Yeah. Keep your feet spread. What does that mean? If you would have listened to him, you would understand what he just told you. You're not he listening. Said he talked so fast and. Put that hand on your but head. But rudely. Daniel needs a little help. Come on. Okay, you're going to go with them. How did you come in contact with Daniel tonight? He was loitering at this uh, over at East Twain where I was known at drug area. And uh, we went to confront him. Well, while we were talking to him, uh, he had to end up having a warrant. Um, while we decided to arrest him, my partner here decided to go through his bags, you know, to take it here to jail and come to find out he had some pills that didn't have any prescription. So we arrested him for that. Okay. And I guess was, while down here, he must have had something else with him. I'm not sure what it is yet, so. Okay. Those look like Xanax. Yeah, it, it, there's uh, two milligrams. Yeah. But we, have already, we already have six of them already. Where were, they're just in the purse. Yeah, they're just floating around in the bottom of those. Okay. We had to conduct a strip search on this gentleman because we found a little baggie of possible cocaine on him. Yeah, he said it was cocaine. He did say it was cocaine? Yeah. But it wasn't his pants, right? Right. No, actually, no. These are... I live in a house full of girls. Shoot your arm out. Your left arm. What is that? Do you shoot up? I just started about five days ago. What are you shooting? Cocaine? When was the last time you did that? 
yesterday when I got my tax return and I bought $50 worth of it. What's going on that's so terrible that you have to shoot up the drugs? It's my choice too, so. All right. All right, come over here. Daniel, looks like they got you for having the pills on you without your prescription, but you no, can fight that in court. That. You take your prescription with you in court. Come on out this way. We're glad you're calmed down now, okay? You're a much nicer person, calm. I know. First row, left hand side. Wait for medical to call you up, okay? Listen for your name. First hand row, left hand side. When he came in, he was upset. I think he was still kind of high, and that's wearing off now. And so the sleep is starting to enter in, but I think he'll be fine. Right before I went to lunch, Kevin was being removed from the pre-arrest lobby for disruptive behavior. Looks like he's doing a lot better when he first came in to our facility. Kevin! 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 Mm -hmm. I'm fine. You're all right? You sobered up a little bit? I'm fine. When the police first came in contact with you tonight, what, what was happening? I was, I was having a, a drink, I think, mm -hmm. and, and they just came out of the middle of nowhere, and I just, I just had, like, one beer, mm -hmm. two beers, maybe. That's all? I don't even know what happened. Yeah. I don't know why I'm here. Well, you seem like you're doing a lot better. Maybe next time you decide to drink, party, stay well, home, maybe stay next home. Maybe I'm going to get drunker. Yeah. But maybe stay home and you won't yeah, have to Yeah, that's, that's what my plan was. Yeah. Okay, well, get some sleep. So I'm a good Minnesota. citizen. Sweet dreams. <laughs> All right, Kevin. Kevin is doing much better. However, Kevin is still a little bit intoxicated. It, it appears that he needs to have a nap of about a few more hours. And hopefully next time he drinks, he'll stay home and he'll avoid jail.